Okay. Well, let's dig our heels in and take a look at the device Meshify. So if we go into packs, we'll grab the uh, Graphic One Meshify device. We'll chuck it on the channel with audio. We've got some audio playing. We've got no image. Uh, like all of the devices in the Graphic One series, you'll need to chop a uh, an image over into that little box there. So let's just go and drop that in. And you can see we've got an image and it looks like it's sort of being modulated and that's because it is on a plane and it's being uh, basically affected by the audio coming in. It's a spectrogram. Yes, that's correct. Um, it's a spectrogram that, depending on the brightness of the pixels of your image, changes the height of the spectrogram. And so you can see that you get that kind of effect where you've basically 3D-ified and animated the image. Um, we've got dimensions. When you change them, um, it will basically make it less obvious what the original image was and the higher will basically bring it closer to the original. Keep in mind if the dimensions are very high you'll probably uh, be using a lot more CPU and GPU. Um, you can scale the image um, and change the overall size with this slider here. Then you've got the, the main audio reactivity uh, based uh, sort of effect here which is extrude and if you set that to the middle it will basically stay flat and then if you drag it up it'll go in one direction and drag it down it'll go in the other direction and you can change the amount like that standard uh, 3D 3D object visual uh, options here for the draw different draw effects you can mesh it and that's the mesh affi aspect so had a look at this, put it back to standard draw mode. And then the main component of this really is the shape. So you can actually wrap this image around a shape. So sphere, we can spin that sphere around. And get different effects, you can put it on a torus, or cylinder, whatever kind of shape that you want out of the basic primitives. Um, at the moment there's a transparency option which isn't functional with the color mode um, and then there are lighting effects which you can basically have to give a shadow on this on this mesh so it tilts it around and see the shadow on the dark side of the sphere and and bright basically changes it so the brightness of the of the uh, mesh doesn't change based on the audio otherwise it does if you've got bright selected then the audio passing through it will actually change the brightness of that original image um, and then peak mode basically turns it from spectrogram into um, just one entire uh, volume loudness extrusion so instead of it being based on this uh, spectrogram that runs across uh, that 3D object, it just uh, uses one peak value, which is, I guess, like a, like a, a peak indicator on your um, mixer. And you can turn the color on and off uh, to basically make it black and white. And then the standard rotation uh, functions, which you've got there. So have a bit of a play around with it, see if you can get some cool effects. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video where We'll go into uh, Retex, which is the texture uh, manipulator. Enjoy, guys. Cheers.